Took Nevada's previous team to four bulls in the last five years. They swing it out of the backfield. Complete, but nowhere to go for Vivens. Brought down immediately by Mike Morris. Colorado State. Uh, I see what you did there. Coming in like a flood. A tidal wave of defense for the sack on Clay Millen. Clay Millen and the Ram offense has been impotent so far, devoid of any kind of production. Mike Morris making the tackle on the play. For a gain of one. And again to Parson and Pinoke. Yellen, little sidearm pass, and that pass is broken up that time. Pocket collapsing on the edges, and down goes Yellen. Mike Morris with the sack. Coverage sack, as it was a true pass rush. Yellen stepping up in the pocket, there's no one there, and Mike Morris comes up and under. It's a step up in competition and preparation. Turner. Scrambling on third down. One guy that looks like he might be ready to take that role for Michigan. It's probably him. And he is bringing in pressure here. But Turner gets out of the pocket, dodging tacklers. Third down and eight after 12. Here's Tonga Vailoa in trouble. Breaks contain. Squares his shoulder. Here's a pass. Hit as he throws it. Complete. He put it on the money. Mike Morris comes in with the pressure. They had to snap it late. And Morris comes around on this left side of the offense and hits him right down there, right above his left hip. Unable to come down with it. That was Corey Deitches, number 84. Littleton in the backfield. Play fake. Tagovailoa steps up in the pocket, wants to run it. And it's tripped up. Great job, Mike Morris. Third down at 13. Billy Edwards off his back foot, incomplete. A lot of pressure this year. You know, I've been impressed with what I've seen from this Maryland team so far. Terps at home against Michigan State next week. Wolverines will travel to Iowa City. Across midfield, third down and 21 of the 26. Petrus in trouble, and he's sacked again. This time it's Mike Morris. Another sack for the Wolverines. Well, he's going to come first knock into the center right there. He's trying to free up his teammate, but in the process, frees himself up. And Mike Morris is there at his own 42. Petrus in trouble. And Petrus sacked again. Second sack of the day for Mike Morris. Petrus. And hit as he throws again. Incomplete. Mike Morris again. With this time with the quarterback pressure, two sacks and a quarterback pressure. What I love here is he goes outside first, and then he sets Connor Colby up and goes back inside. He beats him outside on the last play, now comes back inside, showing the repertoire of pass rushing moves, and he gets to Petrus right when he releases the ball. Third down, make that first down. Bazelak under pressure, and it'll fire it out. Incomplete. Third down and long. Bazelak. Dancing in the pocket, and it'll go down. He's trying to argue that it wasn't the throat slash, which I don't think it was, and there's more pressure here. Bazelak throws it out. Michigan right there. Shivers, the 46. Indiana having no problems moving that football. The field, and the, uh, the official should have given him time to do that right there. Bazelak looking, and he'll just dump this one out of play. And keep himself behind the line of scrimmage. Bazelak looking. Throwing in the corner. Incomplete. And that one's blocked. Your eye on number 90, folks. Yes, it was. 10-10 our score. Second down and 10. Empty backfield for Bazelak. And Bazelak is sacked in the backfield because of the time that he doesn't have. Watch, he's going to go up and timeout. then down. That's your final charge timeout of the half. Perfect Five job by Mike Morris. Bazelak's been taking a lot of hits so far in this game. They've done a nice job. It's 10-10, but boy. Singleton, the 
setback. And they'll give it to him. Looking for the first down. Gets outside. No! Ridden down Mike Morris. Been watching him for years. You just love the way he plays the game. On second and eight. Allen turns it up. Second and ten at the 39. That's two weeks ago, rather. In the rain. Clifford. And Clifford. Rolls out. And finally steps out of bounds. Play fake. Clifford looking backside, nothing, and he'll dump it out of bounds. Clifford sprints out. That one deflected and incomplete. College football's biggest stadium. And they are in full voice early. Horn kept it, and he gets dropped for a loss. A yard and a half. Horn in trouble and taken down. Start to the season. Under pressure, Thorne locks it up in a double coverage, and it's batted down by Rod Moore. Whips it, pocket collapses, down he goes, Mike Morris. Mike Morris, I thought it was really interesting talking to defensive coordinator Jesse Minter. He was experienced last year. This isn't his first year getting significant snaps, but last year with Aiden Hutchinson and David Ojabo, they found him dropping into coverage more often than he was rushing the passer. Wimson hit as he throws, and another interception! And guess who? It's Barrett again! And this time, Barrett takes it in for the score! Because of that loss of five, it's third and seven. Michigan gets pressure. He's in trouble. And down goes Gavin Winston. A little blitz coming by the Wolverines, trying to get to Purdy. He outruns it and a drop. These guys, they're not defeated, but they are demoralized, and they have to find a way to get that spark back for the rest of the season. Smother steps up. Rushed ten times. Gain of three on first down officially. Dug in, had it batted down. Guard and got in there and got a hand on the football. He's not built like your typical edge defender. He's big, he's 6'6", 290, and he's learned how to play to his strengths and his power.